The year was 2019 when Nike unveiled the Air Zoom Universe, the first Fly East basketball shoe built from the ground up and not just an adaptation to an already existing model. Elena Del Don debuted the shoe on August 2019 and from there Nike proceeded by releasing the Air Del Don three years later, the first signature shoe of Elena. Since then, we haven't heard any news about a follow-up. Is the Nike Air Del Don series a one and done? Let's talk. Welcome back. This is Fresh Bear. Smash the thumbs up button. Share this video to your friends. Follow me on Instagram. If you're new here, subscribe to my channel for updates. That said, let's dive in. Elena Del Don was selected as the second overall pick by the Chicago Sky during the 2013 WNBA Draft. Barely a year into her WNBA career, Elena led her team to the 2014 WNBA Finals. In 2017, Elena was traded to the Washington Mystics. Two years later, or on 2019, Elena and the Mystics would win the WNBA Championship. Elena's playing resume stands on its own. She was a two-time WNBA MVP, seven-time WNBA All-Star, four-time All-WNBA First Team, and WNBA Rookie of the Year, among many others. So far, she has played a total of 241 WNBA games, where she averaged 19.5 points, 1.9 assists, 1.4 blocks, and 6.7 rebounds on 30.2 minutes per game. On August 2022, Nike officially unveiled the Air Del Don, Elena's first signature shoe with the brand. Touted by Nike as the most inclusive shoe ever as inspired by Elena's sister, the shoe's main selling point was its use of the Fly E system, which allowed easy foot entry for wearers, especially those with special needs, as the heel is designed to collapse while being secured by Velcro straps. The shoe also features full-length strobel and a bottom-loaded 4-foot zoom unit. The retail price was set at $120. In terms of performance, the concept behind the Nike Air Del Don was great, but the execution, not so much. The traction was a letdown for many people for its inconsistent grip. The absence of an internal heel cup due to the Fly E system caused concerns about heel stability and possible heel injuries due to inadequate heel support. And despite the mix of upper materials, many were disappointed. In early February 2024, reports have indicated that Elena was taking a break from basketball, potentially stepping away throughout the 2024 WNBA season. Perhaps part of her decision is her history of injuries. Since 2019, after leading the Mystics to its first WNBA title, Elena has had several back surgeries after playing with multiple herniated discs in her back. Just last year, she had to deal with multiple cases of ankle injuries. It has been a year and a half since the first and only Air Del Don was unveiled, and we haven't read a word about any potential Nike Air Del Don 2. With Elena indefinitely taking a time off from basketball and with her persistent injuries, the chances of the Air Del Don 2 releasing gets even smaller. Add to that the fact that the first Air Del Don didn't do good in terms of sales and on-court performance, and with the fact that Elena could be past her prime and it's easy to see why the Air Del Don series could be a one and done. Nike is not without future options, with Caitlin Clark set to enter the WNBA draft while breaking one college record after another, Nike has one player to groom as a possible WNBA signature athlete to replace Elena Del Don. Caitlin Clark signed with Nike as a student athlete back in October 2022 and with her upcoming entry to the WNBA, Nike letting go of Elena Del Don is a big possibility to have a spot for Caitlyn. If the next two to three years are good for Caitlyn, don't be surprised to see her signature shoe dropping by then. In the meantime, let me know what you think. Is the Nike Air Del Don a one and done signature shoe? Post your thoughts in the comments section, smash the thumbs up button, share this video to your friends, follow me on Instagram. If you're new here, subscribe to my channel for updates. This is Fresh Bear. Thanks for watching. Peace and love to the fellow underdogs.